I'm gonna put you over there because it's easier to see me. So, um, travel a little bit. All right, thank you. Um, people ask me all the time what it's like to be a eunuch. I always say, you know, you got some, you lose some. And, uh, to me, it's like every moment is in a haze. Yeah, so my body is at a point where it has no testosterone. And, um, I got these. But, uh, people make jokes, half man, half it, whatever. Uh, or say it was because of some woman that hurt me and I am uh, lashing out at the world or myself because I didn't get loved or a love so so hey I cannot um, talk about you know I can't say exactly what my mind was going through at 29 years of age um, all I know is one moment I have testicles and the next moment I don't have testicles now see the story is very Kurosawa's Rashomon or Rashomon or Rashomon or uh, however you want to pronounce it but there is the rock star version there is what other people say and there is the truth but as they say the truth will set you free so in reality there is the wondrous rock star version where um I was uh, doing a reading for premature emasculation, which was given to me, the title was given to me by my friend Donnie, or shall I say Nemesis, because I guess, you know, I don't know, he is a good, he's a, to me he's a good friend, um, um, but we, we like to punch each other a little bit. He's like my annoying little brother, or I'm his annoying big brother, or I'm the it that served on his couch. Okay, um, yeah, I was selling uh, premature emasculation, and in the midst of a drug and haze, I took a knife after shooting up on stage, and I sliced off my testicles and threw them out into the audience. Now, I would rather you believe that one. Or, there is what the people around me at the time said, was that it was because of a woman per se, it, I don't know the woman they were talking about at all, but uh, there was a motif, motif or a thought or a collective understanding that I did it because of a woman. I mean, it's every day that a, um, a man, per se, well at the time, cuts off his testicles because of a woman. I mean, it, it's only natural, right? Every day. Okay. Or, at least to what I can see is the truth psychologically speaking if there is uh, 
single truth I was given money after grandfather passed and I just went to the doctor in Philadelphia and he took my money and he cut off my testicles. It's an everyday story, you know, a kid comes, a kid at 29 comes from, say, Orlando, Florida, and he could be unhinged in the world, no one understands him, no one loves him, no one cares, or so he thinks and he lives in his brain and um, he tells people what they want to hear but in his in his mind and in his choices he does what he wants he doesn't tell them anything even though at the time maybe per se the roommates knew what he was going to do once he got the money so um, he takes a trip to Philadelphia to a doctor without a psychiatrist or a psychologic psychologic um, psychologist's uh, written statement that he should have his testicles removed or you know he doesn't have cancer he's normal in life and everything like that everything's fine with him. He just wants them cut off. I mean, it's it's every day. It happens. He's not transgendered. He's not any of the sort. You know, every day men have their testicles cut off. So, it was bound to happen. I mean, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much the story, and, um, I prefer the Rockstar version, even though, truthfully and honestly, I, four weeks later, before returning to Cedar Point that summer, I did have a poetry reading in Cleveland, Ohio at a place on Detroit in Lakewood, Ohio. It's either the Flying Lemur or it's the Phoenix Coffee House. At my age, I'm not sure that's where I think it works was, but it was one of the two places. And I was, because my book, um, Premature Emasculation, did come out, but it came out after I did go see the doctor. It was either February or November, being that the picture holds two friends that I met that year, I'm assuming that it's most likely October or November. Yeah, probably November because, yeah, I was uh, attempting to celebrate my, my friend's birthday, November 8th, star, um, who was like a sister to me, um, and uh, she'll always be like a sister to me, no matter what. But this is for that, that heads towards another story, which will come. It's coming soon um, in this series of <sighs> vignettes that I'm putting out, probably in the next five days. Um, but uh. Yeah, so I would rather you look at the rock star, 
theory or story but I did it at a poetry reading but that poetry reading afterwards I did pull out something from my underwear and I threw it out into the audience but they were probably meat they, they were meatballs so take from that whatever it is and it was a horrible selling idea because I didn't sell any of those books um, I probably grossed people out so uh, that is the story of my orectomy my becoming a eunuch uh, alright um, as usual have a great one hope all goes well in your life and have a nice day Bye!